In this video, we'll walk through how organization administrators manage user access for their organization. The default view for organization administrators is the Manage Users page. Here you can create new administrator, teacher, and student accounts and edit existing accounts, which includes resetting account passwords. You can also view and export a list of students and staff affiliated with your school or district. Before we begin, please note this video applies to manual rostering districts. If you're unsure which McGraw-Hill Access Service applies to your district, read the Access Service Descriptions article linked below. First, SSO or log in to your organization administrator account at my.mheducation.com. If you serve dual roles as an administrator and a teacher, you will land in your teacher account upon logging in. From ConnectEd, select the Admin Tools button at the top of the page to access your administrator tools. From the Open Learning platform, access the Profile menu at the top right to switch over to your administrator role. Once you've accessed your administrator role, you will land on the Students tab of the Manage Users page. If your account is affiliated with a district or multiple schools, you can select a school from the organization list to access the school's student roster. You can search for a specific student by name or ID number using the search bar at the top right. You can export the student list by selecting the export icon to the right of the search bar. Let's review how to create an account for an individual student and edit existing student accounts. Organization administrators in single sign-on and manual rostering districts should not create accounts for any user that will access our platforms from a district learning management system or single sign-on portal. Select the Create Student button at the top left of the Students page. Input the student's first name, last name, and school or district issued ID number. Next, select the school they attend from the school's drop-down menu. All other fields can be completed if desired. If you do not input a username or password for the student, a username will be auto-generated for them. You will then have to generate a temporary password for their account so they can log in. We highly recommend inputting a username and password for each student you create in order to skip this step. We will discuss how to generate temporary student passwords later in the video. Click the Create button to create the student's account. To edit an existing student's account, locate the student whose account you wish to edit and select the kebab icon to the right of their name. Select Edit Student from the drop-down menu. Make your desired changes to the student's information. Click the Save button. Now let's review how to create and edit teacher and administrator accounts. Again, for single sign-on and manual rostering districts only, organization administrators should not create accounts for any user that will access our platforms from a district learning management system or single sign-on portal. To access the staff list for your district or a specific school, select the Staff tab. Select a school or district from the organization list to view a list of staff affiliated with the school or district. You can search for a specific teacher or administrator using the search bar at the top right. To export the staff list, select the export icon. You can also filter the staff list by role using the filter option. Select the Create Staff button at the top left. Input the staff member's first name, last name, and email address. Select the user's role and organization from the drop-down menu. If you are creating an administrator account, you are required to select at least one role type for the user. Select the eye icon on the screen to read more about each role type. 
You can also find detailed descriptions of each administrator role in the Organization Administrator Guide for your Access service. Finally, enter a staff ID for the user. This alphanumeric ID must be unique to your organization. All other fields can be completed if desired. If you do not input a username and password, one will be automatically generated for them. Be sure to check the box so the staff member receives an email containing their login. Click the Create button to create the staff account. To edit an existing teacher or administrator account, locate the user whose account you wish to edit and select the kebab icon to the right of their name. Select Edit Staff from the drop-down menu. Make your desired changes to the user's personal information, roles, or organization affiliations. For more information on adding roles to an existing account, see How to Add Roles to an Existing User. If you want to remove a role from the user, select Remove Role. Once you are finished, click the Save button. Organization administrators can reset passwords for teachers and other administrators as needed. If a teacher or administrator forgets their password, there are two options for resetting it. If they have a valid email address associated with their account, they can use the Forgot Your Password link on the my.mheducation.com login page to reset their own password. However, if this option does not work for them, an organization administrator can reset their password for them. To reset a teacher or administrator's password, select the Staff tab. Locate the user requesting a password reset and select the kebab icon to the right of their name. Select Edit Staff. Enter a new password into the password field. Click the Save button to save your changes. You have two options for resetting a student's password. You can create a custom permanent password for their account, or you can generate a temporary password instead. From the Students tab of the Manage Users page, locate the student who needs a password reset and select the kebab icon to the right of their name. To set a custom permanent password for the student's account, Select Edit Student from the drop-down menu. On the next screen, enter their desired password in the Password field. Click the Save button to save your changes. Alternatively, to generate a temporary password for the student's account, select Print Temporary Password from the drop-down menu. Once you select Confirm, the temporary password will open in a new browser tab for you to print. Temporary passwords expire when they are used or after 90 days. Once a student logs in with the temporary password, they'll be prompted to set a permanent password for their account. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. For more self-service resources for teachers or to contact our support team, visit our K-12 Technical Support site.